really was. Ron, I wanted to listen to it. Uh, Just tell us. Yeah. Wow, it, it was amazing. Well, hello, WRWK. We are live in the studio. Ron, we had a, a you know, it was a we had some hook hiccups here. Yeah, some hiccups. Yeah, but Ron fixed it, guys. Ron yeah. fixed it. Uh oh. <laughs> Let me get the clap. Ron, a hand for Ron. <laughs> Ron is our number one volunteer here at WRWK. You are listening to The Rose Simmons Show. We are live Monday through Thursday from 1 o'clock p.m. until 2 o'clock p.m. So Ron and I, uh, because we've been out, what, 40 minutes, Ron, maybe? Yeah, close to to 40 minutes. We've been here uh, writing our plans for the future of WRWK. Hey, we're putting it out in the atmosphere. And we need you. So we're making a plan that includes you, Richmond, Hanover, mm-hmm. Chesterfield, uh, Goochland, and what did I miss, Ron? Hanover. Henrico, that's oh, right. <laughs> and Powhatan. Yeah, so uh, our plans here at WRK, we are a community a radio uh, program, radio station here. And, you know, we want to include you in our everyday, everyday everyday doings yep. and uh we are going to be out there we're going to uh get you here on the radio i know i am i'm coming out and i want you to talk about you talk about where you are what you're doing in the community uh what things are important to you because that's who we are here at wrwk what a wonderful 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 day we we're having uh even though we had those hiccups this morning it's okay it's okay we made it through them um we have a guest today and uh, we are waiting for her to call in uh sorry we weren't able to speak with her all day but hey maybe we will do a part two uh, not tomorrow because we have a guest tomorrow, but um, we'll get her back in uh, on the show sometime next week. Uh, I'll wait and talk about her or uh, just give you some information as soon as uh, we get the call in from her. But Ron, mm. I'm so happy. I'm just really happy that you were able to get us up and running. Yes. Yes. And I'm so excited. I can't keep a secret. I really want to tell the <laughs> listeners what how we were planning our future but i'm i'm gonna wait i'm gonna pinch myself and i'm just gonna wait uh such a such a beautiful day outside it's not so hot today no it's not bad yeah not not... Oh, oh and she's calling my phone oh. <laughs> so ron you gotta talk to her and tell uh give her the number to call in uh yeah, so we're just uh waiting waiting uh so. to to get the right number and while we are, uh, let me go ahead and do one or two announcements here. Maybe she, she's not there, Ron. Maybe she left. Uh, Remember, she called the wrong line. Yeah, let me uh, send her a text there, real quick here. Listeners, can you give me a, a moment here? We've we've got one or two more hiccups. <laughs> But it's all going to work out, though. Oh, of there it is. There it is. She did it. Yay. Okay. Wow. This is uh, this is a beautiful day. Uh, as we said, it's not so hot outside today. Uh, and uh, you are listening to the Rose Simmons Show. We love you, uh, listening audience. We love you, Hanover, Goochland, uh, Chesterfield, and... Uh, Henrico, yes. <laughs> All right, I think we have our caller is. on the line. Yep. Uh, hello? hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you doing? This is Miss Brown Washington. Miss Brown, as I so lovely, lovely. I love to call you that. Miss Brown, um, we're happy to have you here on the Rose Simmons Show today. Well, thank you. Glad to be up here. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Miss Brown Washington is the owner, the CEO, the owner. Uh, she has so many titles. Uh, she's the owner of the Williamsburg Beauty and Barber Academy, and that is located at 1505A Richmond Road, Williamsburg, Virginia. She's also the owner of Studio Cuts and Styles 
which is also located at 1505A Richmond Road in Williamsburg. Ms. Brown, thank you so much for being a part of our show today. You are so welcome, Ms. Rose. Well, I, I know that our listeners uh, would love to hear about how you um, were able to get started in business. We always want to encourage our listeners and help people um, who are out there wanting to become entrepreneurs who, or who are already entrepreneurs and they may need a little encouragement. And I, I always think that um, when we tell the story of how we began, because a lot of times people think that when they see us after we're successful, uh, they think we started at success, but they don't realize that we had to start from, uh, I always say, Ron, I always say behind zero. It took me yeah. some years to get to zero. In the deficit. Actually, That's right. <laughs> I had to work hard to get to zero. And uh, once, yes, and I know you had years. that story. Yeah, it took you seven. Hey. 70. Seven, okay, it took you 70. Okay, Ron, I'm going to go with maybe 30. <laughs> took me 30 me. years to get me. to zero. <laughs> so, Ms. Brown, please talk to us. Tell us something about um, your illustrious beauty school and also uh, your barber and beauty salon. Talk with us. Well, first and foremost, you guys sound like y'all are having so much fun <laughs> in the background. <laughs> that's Just laughing and cutting up. Yes, that's, that's our thing. thing. That's our thing. We make sure we laugh every day. Yep. We make sure. Right. That, and that, yes. that's, that's so important. Um, well, and uh, laughing and having a good time, that's exactly uh, the antidote to opening up a business is that you have to have fun. Yeah. That's very good. Yes. Uh huh. You have to have fun and you have to really, really uh, work hard. Mm -hmm. um, be honest. Do things legally. It takes a lot of time and um, effort. And good people surrounded around you. You need some really good people with good spirit that is going to um, pour into your life and mm -hmm. speak into your life in a positive way. Yeah, good friends. Good very, friends. very true. So true. So true. Miss Brown, how long have you? Uh, uh, I'm assuming that you having a beauty school and barber school and also uh, a beauty salon that you are licensed as well within the state of Virginia. And and how long uh, have you been working in the area uh, in in the profession of cosmetology? I believe I, I started in, um, of course, Raleigh, North Carolina, years and years ago, um, mm -hmm. established in Virginia with opening up the actual, um, opening up the hair school was, I believe, 2013 in October, mm -hmm. October 2013. Yes, ma'am. Okay, wow. so that's been, what, seven, seven years uh, here in Virginia, but more years yes. in North Carolina? Oh, yeah, well, I had a... Um, hair salon in North Carolina. I had there probably about 10 years before I ran a, a salon there and I actually went to hair school there in North Carolina. And then after graduating, moved back to Virginia and opened up the hair school and a barbershop and salon. So that's about, um, we'll just round up and say almost 20 years in the business. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, God is good. Yes, yes, he is. So you're a veteran uh, in I the am. area of barbering and cosmetology. Beautiful. Uh, what are some of the, um, uh, what would you say would be some of the uh, positives of uh, owning not just a barber and beauty academy and um, also a salon, but some of the positives of being the CEO of a uh, barber school and um, cosmetology salon. What, what would some yeah, of the positives of course. be? Mm -hmm. Well, I think um, one of the positive things of owning your own establishment or your business is that you can pretty much go with your vision and mm -hmm. your gift of, you know, what I, I feel that God blessed me with mm -hmm. and, um, and my dreams. And so, you're able to move forward and do those things that you dreamt of as far as opening up your own business, making your own decision. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, kind of take your time and weigh your pros and cons and, um, 
and you don't have to deal with a whole lot of other people masterminding something that you've already dreamt of. Mm-hmm. Um, so pretty so that's much, one good thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pretty much, you can uh, write your own future. You can pretty much, pretty, pretty much, much, yeah. So it's it's more like um, creating your own destiny is what I hear you saying. Absolutely. As an Absolutely. entrepreneur. Without all the other inputs and stuff that are not always so positive. Well, that's the spirit of a true entrepreneur, which um, I, I, I find uh, it, it's, it's intriguing to me because I'm an entrepreneur myself. So I, I love to talk with other entrepreneurs and get their story. Um, as I said before, uh, when you came on the line, it's uh, when you when when you are successful, people tend to think that you started there at success, and they don't see uh, the struggle. And I always know that there is um, there's wisdom in the struggle. What what would be uh, one thing that um, you could take away? Uh, let's let's fast forward um, at the end of your career. What would be something that you could take away? What would be your best takeaway after serving so many years uh, as uh, a business owner? Okay, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it would be, most importantly, the people that you help along the way, the ones that you reach down and, you know, grab their hands and pull them up to try to help them establish their own businesses in the same field that you're in. Hmm. Um, and That's just walking good. away with mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, just walking away with your integrity and um, just very proud of what I've accomplished, really the most mostly helping people. Yes. And the people that have graduated from the school and people that have gone on to open up their own businesses and people that you've even bought into into your business to be partnered with you. So mm-hmm. all of that. I, I love that answer. And it's amazing. Uh, as as I asked you the question, I answered it in my own mind. And that was my answer. The people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the people that I've met. Think alike. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> the people that I've met along the way and those that, um, that I... Uh, would have helped um, on the path and journey uh, to their careers. Ms. Brown, yeah. thank you so much for that answer. Uh, You're so welcome. So tell us uh, a little bit about your school and uh, what what you offer. Are, you know, it's, if there was a lay person listening and they didn't really understand the ins and outs of beauty and barber schools, um, what what do you offer if you if you had to explain it? Okay, well, it's Williamsburg Beauty and Barber Academy, and we are um, able to license barbers and cosmetologists. Um, I believe right now the cosmetologist would have to have fifteen hundred hours um, in um, classroom time, practicals, and um, theory work, and mm-hmm. for the barbers. They would have to have, I believe they changed it down to 1,100 hours um, just for a barber license. But to be a master barber would be 1,500 hours. Mm-hmm. And with master barbering, it's just you're going to add, you know, hair coloring and um, some other styling aids that they're able to do um, mm-hmm. as a master barber that they couldn't do as just a regular barber. Mm-hmm. And with the cosmetology part of it, you know, we, we, we teach out of the My Lady curriculum and... Um, We've actually just turned over to MindTap. So things are done um, on the computer, you know, through MindTap. No longer, they've done away with the book. And I think it's amazing. I really, really like the MindTap for all the students, any age, all ages, even if you struggle with testing and things of that nature. It's a really, really good program. And to me, it's made it more, it made, made it easier. It's fun. And um, they have so many things on MindTap to explore as far as training those and mm-hmm. actually you know what they're what they're doing as far as hands-on really really great phenomenal so as far as hands-on goes so are they learning um hair coloring and and what uh hair cutting so forth and right they're pretty much courses. learning everything it's mm-hmm. um hair coloring mm-hmm. hair cutting 
um, for the for the cosmetologist is um, doing eyebrows and eyelashes and mm-hmm. makeup and facials and pedicures and manicures and bolted nails, all sorts of things. That sounds so like fun. fun. It sounds like a sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, really nice like on a the party. actually on the mm-hmm. I'm sorry, actually on the mind tap, mm-hmm. they actually have a lot of videos. Mm-hmm. You know, they can watch videos after videos and watch people do things on platforms and um they have flashcards. They have everything. It's just hard to fail now. It really is. There's mm-hmm. so much up there to learn. So is bring your your um, your desire, your gifts, um, your talents, or just your intrigue in wanting to learn this um, beautiful art of barbering and cosmetology. And there it is. This it's a smorgasbord. Is that how you say it, Ron? Say it Absolutely. right. For me. There you go. Yeah, yeah, there it goes. Sure yeah, you know, we, we all have words hybrid. we can't say. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a couple, but um, that that sounds um, super interesting, wonderful, wonderful. Again, you're listening to Miss Brown Washington. She is the owner and CEO of uh, the Williamsburg Beauty and Barber Academy, which is located at fifteen o five. That's fit one five zero five A Richmond Road, Williamsburg, Virginia, and she's also the owner of the cuts i'm sorry let me get the right name studio cuts and styles i'm sorry miss brown That's which is okay. also <laughs> thank you which is also yeah. located at 1505a richmond road williamsburg virginia miss brown we thank you for being a guest here on the rose simmons show uh please tell all of you all of your friends and feel free to call us any day and talk with us. We'll be more than happy uh, to talk with you. We thank you so much. Is there anything else you would like to say um, while you're here on on the Rose Simmons Show? Well, of course. First and <laughs> foremost, <laughs> thank you so much, Miss Rose Simmons, for all of your help and everything that you're doing at this station, and and, and allowing us to speak out. A lot of times, um, we don't have this type of platform to speak out and talk about the things that we're doing in our neighborhood and in our, um, well, you are a part of our community and, um, this is why we're here at WRWK and that is to service, uh, members of our community and give you this space and platform, uh, to be able to speak about your business, about what you're doing in the community. And, um, I, I, I know you have to say, WRWK listeners, I do know Miss Brown personally and uh, her husband, uh, Mr. Reese Washington, who does so much in the community. And we're going to have Miss Brown, Mr. and Miss Brown. Hey, we're going to meet the Browns. Isn't that what Tyler Perry? (laughs) We're going to meet the Browns one day soon and we'll be able to talk with them about all of the beautiful inspirational things that they are doing here in the Richmond area and the community. Ms. Brown, thank you uh, so much. As thank I said, you so much. okay, we'll All be right, talking to you soon. Day. It was so nice being on the, on the station and being heard today. God bless everyone. I'll well, keep going. That community. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Ron, right, what a beautiful guest. Indeed. And, um, as I said, I know Ms. Brown personally, and I also know her husband, uh, Mr. Uh, Reese Washington, and he works tirelessly and gives uh, so much of his time, his energy, his love, his fortitude, everything uh, for the communities, uh, uh, the, the city of Richmond and communities oh. surrounding. And I'm looking forward to having both of them on the show very soon. Are they both entrepreneurs? And they are both entrepreneurs. Yes. Yes, they are. And uh, they love the community as well. It seems like cosmetology is something you can get into without too many dollars. Yes, um, really, you can. And I will have Miss Brown back on the show to uh, speak about that. I know a little bit about it, but uh, yeah. I, I would love for her to do it. She's actively uh, working in that field. So I'm going to have her come back. You've done that yourself in the past, right? I have. I have yeah. done it. I have. I've done it. And um, I made a great living from it. And as she said, 
Uh, I actually retired, Ron. You um, retired? I did. I retired You're too young from to that. retire. No. <laughs> no gray hair young. showing. <laughs> Listen, no gray hair until I turn 70. <laughs> yep. Oh, is that right? Well, you're lucky. That's the way I'm going to keep it. Keep it. Yeah, keep it that way. I'm going to keep it that way. Oh, keep wow. You. So, guys, you're listening to The Rose Simmons Show. We are here live Monday through Thursday from 1 o'clock until 5. Oh, did I say 5? Am I speaking prophecy here, Ron? <laughs> Let me change that. Are you predicting the future? <laughs> I'm predict We've had these future conversations today while we were uh had our hiccups so ron's got me speaking prophet prophecy and looking <laughs> into the future i'm saying one until 5 p.m uh but we're working towards that we are here one o'clock p.m until two o'clock p.m monday through thursday if you are a member of the city of richmond henrico county uh chesterfield uh hanover and I always miss one. Goochland, please call into the Rose Simmons Show at 804-464-1089. We would love to highlight you, your business, what you're doing in the community. We want to hear from you and we want others to know who you are. Did I say that right? Was that correct, English? That right. Who you are. Yes. Uh, we're about to go off air, Ron. We only have a few more seconds. That's right. And as always, we want to say thank you for listening. Uh, thank you for just being a part of this beautiful, beautiful community and beautiful city of Richmond. We have a great show tomorrow, guys. We will have on Mr. or Pastor or Activist. Oh, well, he has so many titles. Demos Salabarios. Uh, you're really going to enjoy this show. So make sure you... Uh, How's it go, Ron? You tag your friends on Facebook. I'm not the social yeah, media person. I'm, I'm trying to say it the right the way. Event. Share the Share event. Share the and event. Then they'll all see it too. That's right. He's go to the powerhouse. He, he has a it's long, a, yeah. very career. He learned a lot. Learned a and lot. He came back uh, roaring, you might say, to yes. get people. Um, well, from taking the, a couple of dead alleys that he went down yeah. uh, before he discovered that the, well, it was more fun to help people than to hurt. Sure. Them. And he'll talk about that tomorrow. Yeah. All right, Ron. How many seconds? Two, oh, we're, three, we're, one. <laughs> Have well, a great day. Have a great day. Yeah, I just want to throw in there, of course, this is WRWK LPFM mm -hmm. 93.9 FM, the work FM. And we're licensed in the middle of the end, but we serve Chesterfield, Henrico, Richmond, Goosland, Hanover, Powhatan, and, you know, the entire Internet world. So welcome. I'm glad you share some time with us. Come and see us often. And I'm going to book you back on the loop. Which um, I think you find very interesting. Uh, it's always very interesting. We try to give you the stuff of the world that works. You can build the world that works in your area. And we're all about that. We are here about building a bridge from city to county, left to right, neighbor to neighbor. So uh, engage, volunteer, and support. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for listening. And Thank this you so is much. The Loop. Okay, let's address something head on just to do it and get it out of the way for future segments. Last week and in other segments, I've made an effort to remind the audience that I'm completely fine covering instances of right-wing violence based